my channel this is video number two so basically the first video was um, me just talking about um, myself getting to know me and also the reasons why I started my channel this is video number two so basically the first video was um, me just talking about um, myself getting to know me and also the reasons why i started um a youtube channel so then i thought then it would actually be helpful if the next video was basically about how i found out about uh my fibroids so basically i had um i had i had not i've been postponing to go see um a gynecologist for a while but then i eventually did go um and then i actually did a uh, pap smear and then while i was doing the pap smear wait actually wait before we even get there so basically i've been postponing to do a pap smear for a very long time so then i decided um i would actually go because um there was a disc cam and this cam was actually running a promotion i think yes this came was running a promotion and then i wanted to go to um to go get a pap smear but then at the time um i arrived late because at the time i was still working where well, i used to travel a lot so then i couldn't make it on time for my appointment and then obviously that time went i got busy and whatnot and then i thought Ugh, i'll do it some other time so then um eventually then i did it last year i think it was around july july yeah it was around july august because after i moved to rich bay i was like you know what i need to take care of my life i need to like take care of my health as well because honestly to be truthful i think i had been neglecting a lot of, of my health so then yeah that's how i i then decided so i went to this camp to have my pap smear eventually and then while i was doing my pap smear because i had this um like uh like a hard thing on my lower stomach but i always thought Kuti, it was umkaba or the belly bottom for those that um unfamiliar with zulu but then um so while i was doing my pap smear at this camp then i saw this lady um they i said to her you know there's this thing that i don't understand that's on like my um lower stomach would you be able to to, to, to like tell me she's like she panicked she's like what this is so hard it's either you're pregnant or not and i was like I know I'm not pregnant for sure. I'm not pregnant. So then, um, yeah. So then she was like, no. She she obviously did the pap smear, and then after that she referred me to um gynecologist so that I could all sort of find out what it is. Oh, and also she ran some pregnancy tests. Even though I knew, I told her I knew I'm not pregnant because no action. But so basically, then I um. I did the pregnancy test, I went to the gynecologist and then I got tested and then I went through um, ultrasound please. I went through an ultrasound and then on the ultrasound that's when um, they saw that there was actually like multiple um, fibroids and then I think the longest one then was about 6 centimeters. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's about this this length um the, the the width yes this is the width so it was about um six centimeters and then it was sitting the biggest one at the time so when they did the ultrasound first they sort of um didn't look at the they thought the biggest one was the biggest one which is the six um centimeter one but then uh that was sitting on my uterus and so yeah, so that's basically how I found out that I had fibroids and then they broke it down to me to tell me that the fibroids um, This is what fibroids are that they're not cancerous. I should not worry about cancer uh, But there's there's rare cases where there, there has been people that have um, have had cancer even though um, it's non-cancerous um, Tumors so then uh, after that then I started sort of like looking into finding out what are the options so the first appointment um, that I had the, the doctor was like no um, the, the fibroids are so big I just need to get them removed and she started telling me about how I need to start thinking about um, having kids as well because chances are 
I might not be able to, to conceive because of the size of uh, my fibroids. I, at the time, I didn't know how to feel about it because I, I, I'd never thought about not having kids being an option, if that makes sense. I've never thought of it in that way. But, um, so yeah, after she told me then, I just sat down with myself and I, I started thinking about it. But then I started researching and finding out what fibroids were, sorry, what fibroids were, what were the, um, the treatments that were in the market. And that's when I realized that there was not enough um, content that was talking about um, South Africa and probably what you could do and whatnot. So hence, I started the YouTube channel to sort of share my journey with you guys. Um, anyone who might be dealing with fibroids or has a family member who has a fibroid. So yeah, so that's basically how I found out. So I've been, I've, I've seen a specialist and then who also said, yeah, the fibroids are big and I also feel like um, in the market right now, nobody actually really looks at, um, okay, let's find a better solution. It's always about, uh, just get just get them removed, get them, even get your whole womb removed. And I'm, I'm like, hey, well, like, it's not that easy. And also, um, you can't just like make a decision like that out of the blue. So basically, that's how I found out that I had fibroids. So... Yeah, I've seen I've been seeing a specialist and I'm getting I'm getting a second opinion and a third opinion. Um I'm supposed to fly up to Joburg on the end of February. So hopefully I'll be able to schedule a specialist um because my cousin has one that she referred that she went through who was able to remove her fibroid and also she was she was still able to conceive after that. She was able to conceive my, my niece after she removed her fibroid. So I'm just still getting um, different options and just making sure that I don't make a hasty decision. Fine, I hate the fact that after I found, like now my energy levels are very low, my periods are horrible. Actually, I think that's one of the things that made me want to do the pap smear because like my periods got really, really worse. I think after I moved to Richards Bay, I realized that my periods were like really, really bad. Like I'd literally almost faint and then there was a time where like i fell off the bed but i don't understand how so basically that's when i decided uh, you know what i needed to see someone and also because there was a day where like my flow was so heavy i probably changed like four times and i had like the longest pad ever in the world but then still it's supposed to do so basically that's 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 my my way of finding out so if you do have fibroids or um are dealing with, or you know someone who has or what um someone who has fibroids or you've got them removed please do comment down below with what your experience has been which kind of um treatment you're getting or did you get an operation if you got an operation which one did you get did you get the myomectomy which is just removing the fibroids or did you get a hysterectomy, which is removing the uterus as well and i just discovered that now there's also something um called uterine um it's called uterine fibroid embolization which is probably for me so far out of all the three options looks like it's the best option so i'm still sort of working and also it doesn't help the fact that i don't have medical aid because i'm contracting which sucks and also the medical schemes here in south africa i just because i've been trying to call to get medical aid and i was told that i need to do a one year waiting period and in the one year because i declared that i actually had uterine fibroid they said that i can't even do any sort of treatment that is related to uterine fibroids imagine paying for a whole year not being able to do anything that relates to the real reason why i got medical aid so yes i hope uh, you liked the video and if you did enjoy please like and don't forget to subscribe comment down below and also share see you in the next video